Back in January, I was walking through the boatyard and I was approached by this adorable couple, Brazilian couple, and they wanted to know if I wanted to crew for them on their boat. And I hesitated for a microsecond and uh, said, of course, I would love to crew for you. And uh, it ended up being a really great thing for me. Turns out this is their boat. Her name is Serena Jan. And she's a very special boat because she has a rotating mast and she has one boom that handles both sails and the whole mast pivots, uh, which is super cool. I feel so lucky that I got to sail on Serena Jan. She absolutely sails like a dream. She's especially fun going downwind because with the rotating mast and boom arrangement, you don't need a spinnaker pole and you just need one sheet to control both sails. Of course, she's built to go fast and naturally she sails herself with the autopilot. And as if getting to sail this amazing boat wasn't enough, we also got to sail to a tiny island called Klein Curacao, which is uninhabited and absolutely spectacular. Serena Jan secure on her mooring ball and went for a walk on the island which we had all to ourselves and we went up into the lighthouse which was super cool okay it was a little spooky but the views out the windows were fantastic out the top window what did we see but Serena Jan after a hot sweaty walk what could be better than to go for a little swim and snorkeling right off the boat is also like really cool. In today's episode of Crying in the Bilge, I am back to working on the sink plumbing, which you may recall has not been working since I removed that through haul oh, about four months ago. So here I am. Sink is out. I have your selection of hose clamps and plumbing stuff. I acquired this little piece when I was in the States and it screwed into the seacock which is here and but this of course is too small because the through hole is smaller so in order to make it fit I'm putting this piece this little piece of hose on here this is the bit of plumbing that was here you can see that this goes to the cockpit drain, this goes to the sink, and the bottom part goes to the through hull. So I am going to attempt to put it all back together now. You can already snafu number one, which is that apparently this, this through hull is 
taller than the old one. This is not going to fit. So I'm going to have to shorten this hose, which is probably just as well because it's old and probably needs replaced. Ditto the hose clamps, which are probably 40 years old. There's the uh, cockpit drain coming down. I already put the hose clamps on. They're hopefully not gonna get lost in the build. Couldn't just be a simple matter of pulling these fittings off, no. Because they've probably been on here for four years and they're like super jammed on. And I'm trying to be very careful not to break the PVC because I could get more of this PC. At least I looked at the hardware and they didn't seem to have it. So maybe I just would like this to stop. Oh, hooray. Now, do I have more hose? <laughs> this is the one I'm not sure I could replace. So break the PVC. Just want to come off. It's really, really stuck. I 